Hello, and good morning. My name is Luis. How's everybody feeling this morning? <laughs> I understand. Some of us are still waking up. We might need our coffee and everything else. Understood. I just wanted to tell you that I appreciate you for making this virtual training this morning on WebEx. And today's goals is going to be learning some of the tools and functionalities that are available within WebEx so we can be more strong suited for when we go into virtual, virtual trainings in the future. We understand where we're going and how to utilize this new computer software. Sound good? Perfect. Let's get started. First, we're going to talk about some of the feedback tools that are available within WebEx. The first one that I do like to talk about is this little carrot going to be right here next to participants. This is going to be our minimize and our maximize icon. What this gives us is the availability to see who the panelist is, if there's multiple hosts that are available within this little panel here. The second one tells us about attendees, how many, and who's within this meeting currently. The benefit of this is these carrots just signify that we can either minimize the amount of visibility that we want to see or maximize all the information that we want to. So by clicking on it, we can either minimize all that information so we build up more of that real estate that's available, or we click it to hide everything or expand. Perfect. Next, let's talk about raise hand. This raise hand icon is very beneficial. This allows the presenter to see who's asking questions throughout the meeting. So if at any case you're talking about something and there might be a stopping moment, this is a really good way to showcase to the presenter that there's a question that's coming up within the meeting. All right. Next, we're going to talk about the green check and also the red X. These two icons are very important. So let's say, for example, if the presenter says, what do most people like? We'll use the green check for coffee. We'll use the red X for tea. Everybody who's attending the meeting can choose either the green X for coffee or the red X for tea. The benefit of that is then seeing where does the audience kind of go more towards. This is a really good way of doing things when it comes to project teams or anything else where we could see who agrees, who disagrees, and where can we meet on a middle ground. Very small but useful tool. Lastly, within these feedback tools is the emoticon. Probably one of my favorite features. The big reason for that is just because it allows us to really show emotions within this demonstration. As we could see, this is showing us like a smiley face with sunglasses. I could say that this presentation was awesome, or we could see the clapping of hands, so it could be an applaud to our peers or even to the person who's presenting that they did a great job. Perfect. Let's get to the next part. Next is going to be using the WebEx chat. What you get with the WebEx chat is chatting between everybody who's within the conversation. So this gives us an opportunity to do a few different things. Currently it's showing choosing all participants within the conversation. So let's say, for example, if you wanted to send a message, we have our subject field right here where this allows us to type our message here. Now, what we saw on our previous slide was this little carrot. This allows us to maximize all the information within this presentation. So the really neat thing about this is you can either communicate with just everybody within the presentation, or if you wanted to talk to a close peer, this then gives you the opportunity to then send a message directly to them. And once everything is filled out through this little message uh, box right here, all we have to do is as simple as click send for that message to be available. Well enough, right? 
Excellent. All right, next slide. This is probably one of my favorite parts. Using WebEx annotation tools. Now, I'm sure you use annotation tools for anything like a book that you're reading or any type of line of work or for anything. The really cool thing about the annotation tools is it adds a lot more personality to the presentation. Let's take this for example. The pointer tool. As you can see, right now my mouse is just moving around this little pointer tool. This makes it easier for the presenter to follow along, but also the audience as well. To know where we're located right now and what I'm emphasizing as what's important right now. So this pointer tool acts the exact same way as we see a laser pointer within a presentation in person. But sometimes in virtual sessions, we're not necessarily seeing that. So this is a really good way of seeing, hey, my mouse cursor is going under using WebEx annotation tools. Makes sense, right? Okay. Next, text. As we can currently see, this is a really good emphasis on how we're using multiple tools all at once. So as an example, we're seeing these arrows. These arrows help point out to understand, okay, I'm looking at a few different tools that are available within the annotation toolbar. The text under just helps me then see what are those tools called. So when we look at that, that gives us then the availability of understanding, oh, this is the pointer tool. The T means a text tool. And as we start going through some of the other tools, I can then see like a change font is this yellow box and then eraser because of those text features. Now, when we look at this change font color, this is a really critical piece within a presentation as well. Because I can always change, let's say for example, pointer within a red text and I could show maybe how important this feature is by highlighting different colors within text on different presentations. This can be things like key terms, which is really beneficial for people to understand if they were taking virtual school and you wanted to highlight maybe key points for an exam later on in the future. And next we have an eraser. So if you ever used this marker tool here, Let's say if you're really good at illustrations or anything else like that. Let's say a line didn't look good, or maybe if you're making a diagram, the eraser tool just helps fix those perfections. All right, any questions? All right, let's move on. Now, one of the last and most important things that I like to talk about is going to be the mute and unmute options. This is going to be very important, especially with virtual sessions. The big reason for this is we have, let's say, for example, kids that are staying home from summer break. We might have pets who are probably going to be barking in the background, or we might have a neighbor that's just mowing their lawn currently this morning. This just helps us cancel out that noise from the background. And we're showing respect between the presenter and then, let's say, one of our peers that might be asking a question. The benefit of, or how we would be able to do this is by clicking on the microphone button. And as we could see right here on the screen, we're noticing that there is a red icon around the microphone and then a cross marker through the mic. That's symbolizing that this is currently muted. But let's say, for example, if you use the raised hand emoticon or icon that we saw on the first uh, slide, that then gives us the ability to ask a question, and this is a perfect opportunity to then unmute ourselves so we can then ask that question to our presenter. Simple enough, right? Awesome. Now, do we have any questions? No? Perfect. You guys were wonderful. I wish everybody a wonderful rest of their day, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.